Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am going to give you a 5 step guide for perfectly installing any custom ROM. Now it is 99% fail proof method. I have done all my custom ROM installation in this way only. So I am going to share my 5 step guide for perfectly installing custom ROM. So let's move ahead and check it out. Now these are the 3 most important things you must do before proceeding to installation process. First one is your phone must be rooted. Second one is you must have a latest version of TWRP installed. And the third and most important one is backup your all data and apps. Once you are done with this, you can proceed to my 5 step guide. So the first step of my 5 step guide. You must put your ROM file, gapps file and superuse file in the root of SD card or internal storage. So just copy your zip file to the root of the SD card or internal storage. That's a very important thing. By placing your file in the root, it is easy to find the file and add it to the queue of flashing zips. So always put your file in the root of SD card or internal memory. After copying the files to your phone, just reboot into recovery. So here is my second step. You should always take a backup of your currently running ROM. It is very important thing because if something goes wrong between the installation process, you will always have the backup of your previous ROM. So you don't have to panic. So just click on the backup button. Keep it on a default setting. You can change the storage type to internal or external as per your choice and just take a backup of your current ROM. So as you could see, our backup is done now. Now press home to go back to the main menu. Now the third step is, you have to wipe your data and cache of previous ROM. So just go into wipe section and factory reset your device. It includes clearing of data, cache and dynamic cache. So just swipe this button to factory reset your device. So it is done now. Now press home button to go back. Now the fourth step and the most important step is you have to wipe your system partition. So for that just go into wipe section then click on advanced wipe and just tick the box in front of system and swipe this button to wipe the system. It is very important step. So after wiping system partition, just click on home button to go back to main menu. Now the fifth and final step is installation. So just go into the install menu and direct it to the root of your SD card or internal storage. It depends upon where you have copied your ROM file and gapps file. Now before flashing any file, just check your ROM info page whether it includes the gapps or you have to flash separately. If it includes gapp, then you don't have to flash any extra gapps file. So please read it carefully and also check for the super SU support for the ROM. If it is included in the ROM, you don't have to flash any extra zip file. So I am going to flash Resurrection Remix ROM. Now this ROM does not include gapps. So I am going to flash an external file for gapps that is Banks gapps. Resurrection Remix ROM has inbuilt support for super SU. So you don't have to flash any extra zip file for super SU. So I am not going to flash super SU file. So firstly you must add a ROM file. So click on ROM zip file. Then click on add more zips. Then add the gapps file. And if the super SU file is required, you can also add the super SU file. Now after adding file to the queues, just swipe this button to enable the flashing of ROM. So as you can see the ROM and gapps file are flashed successfully. So after this, just reboot your phone. So as you can see the ROM is successfully installed. So it is 99% fail proof method. So just follow my 5 step guide and install any custom ROM without any issue. So if you like this video, 
प्लीज लाइक बटन बेलो एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर सच वीडियो यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन गूगल प्लस फेसबुक एंड ट्विटर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो आई विल सी यू इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो